Love it. Obsessed. That's the Erewhon sushi is truly unbelievable. I knew you were in trouble when you walked in. Is trying to get a professional photo. <laughs> Why is this so cute? Like, I'm so excited. It's ready for dinner. Hey, Dirty Forkers. Good morning. Why did I just do this? Today is a very exciting day because tomorrow's my birthday. And Alicia Marie is surprising me with something. I have no idea what it is. I have to pack. First things first is I'm hungry. So we're gonna eat. Please just look at how full and awesome my fridge looks. Like it's not perfectly organized, but it's full, which is a great sign. I'm trying to like only cook my meals at home now and not order out. I made this epic fruit bowl yesterday and I love having it because it's just like easy to grab and go fruit. I'm gonna make a little yogurt bowl right now. Like this just makes my life so much easier instead of having to go through each container. We did this while I was in Italy for the group of girls and it inspired me. One of my friends, Sarah, started it and I was like, this is so convenient. Also, ever since I've gotten back from Europe, all I want are like fruits and veggies because I had so many carbs, which duh, like you're in Italy, so place to have carbs. There really aren't many fruit or veggie options, especially at restaurants. Like. We only really had fruits and veggies when we went grocery shopping. I've been using this probiotic cashew milk yogurt. Honestly, it's fine. It's nothing special. It's very, very plain. Like it doesn't have any like added sugars or anything. It literally has one gram of sugar in it. Do I prefer yogurt with sugar in it? Yes, but I'm trying to be a health queen at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna put a little over the line. It's like about an hour. It's 11.16, I have to leave here at like 12.30. I have to pack, I have to go pick up my prescription. I have to get ready for the day. This is what it looks like. Just a little yogurt bowl with fruit and granola. <laughs> it's freezing. I just went and checked the thermostat and it's literally 68 degrees. I don't know why. I normally sleep at 68, but no idea why it's that cold right now. So I'm just, you know, shivering after eating that fruit bowl. I texted Alicia to be like, what should I be wearing right now? Like in my head, I was gonna go there with like no makeup and workout clothes. But thank God I texted her because I said, what should I be wearing right now? She said, casual hot mom. And I said, like not workout clothes. She goes, you can just like rich mom. Makeup? I don't know. So uh, let me give you the 411. Let's wash our face first. It's so cold. I'm gonna wash my face. Skincare. Particularly for my birthday, I didn't want to do anything big because the past two years I've done something big in my eyes. Mainly, I just didn't want to pay for something big because it's forking expensive. I'm also just over LA birthdays. Like, I feel like everyone thinks it's a national holiday, it's not that deep. Also, because I'm turning 26, it's just like kind of a boring age, although I'm so fucking excited to turn 26 just because I don't wanna be 25 anymore because 25 for me like, like wasn't a very fun year. We'll get into that in another video. I just was not in the mood to pay for something big and then I also didn't want to even plan like something big. Like I didn't wanna deal with the like texting back and forth, seeing who could make it, texting whatever venue I was gonna use or like, I just, I didn't wanna do anything. I didn't wanna deal with decorations. I didn't wanna deal with food. I didn't wanna deal with literally anything. I don't have the energy to do it and also I just don't care. I honestly think it's mainly because I've been traveling so much and I was in Italy for a month and I'm just exhausted. I just feel like I used to be like party, party, party and I'm like kind of out of that party phase now, which that makes sense. I'm almost 26 and I'm growing up and that's just how life happens, I feel. My friends were like, what do you wanna do for your birthday? What are we doing? Blah, 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 blah. And I was kind of freaking out when I was in Italy and I was like, I don't know, I don't wanna do anything, but I know if I do nothing, I'll be like, sad on my birthday basically like i want to do something but it doesn't have to be big and then alicia was like i have an idea and she was like do you want me to tell you or no because she knows i like surprises so this is like the perfect type of surprise to me because like i know we're doing something so i like being mentally prepared that way but it ultimately is a surprise i have no idea what we're doing but i know we're doing something like if she literally just like picked me up today and i had no idea and she was like you need to pack now I would still be down because I love a surprise and I love an adventure, but like having a little forewarning is really nice and I know we're staying in LA. Don't know where we're going, don't know what we're doing. It's Saturday to Monday. I'm so excited. I have a feeling it's like by the beach or at least by a pool. I'm supposed to be dressing like a hot rich mom, which like, is that Beverly Hills rich mom? Is that Malibu rich mom? See, I, I, this is fun, this is fun. Let me go get my cosmetic bag. Perfect. Life hack, after you travel, put your cosmetic bags in the wash. This was filthy. And like, it's still 
slightly gross, but it's way cleaner than it was. And I was like, oh my God, I need to get a new one. But no, it's like literally throw it in the washer. She said to pack lightly. So I think we're taking her car. Every time I travel, I bring a creme shop mask. Sometimes I don't even use them, but I love to have them when I like want them. Does that make sense? I'm gonna throw on some light makeup. I've been using this NARS light reflecting eye brightener. It is thick. I don't know if that'll bother you, but I kind of like it. Now I have it in my head. Like she said, rich mom. I don't know why I have Malibu in my head. Like at first I had like Santa Monica or Beverly Hills. I have no idea. I really don't. I kind of love that I have no idea. Alicia loves Malibu. So I could see her doing Malibu or Beverly Hills. I don't know why I'm like picturing the Shore Hotel, which is like right by the Santa Monica Pier. Like I know she would never book that, but that's like what I'm picturing. The fancy dinner is probably tomorrow, huh? Cause that's my birthday. I don't know if this is annoying, like me trying to figure this out, but this is just like what's going through my mind currently. I'm gonna take this NARS light reflecting foundation. Love it so much. Why is this so cute? Like I'm so excited. It doesn't feel like my birthday month even. It doesn't even feel like June. Like the fact that it's almost July is like terrifying. And truthfully, I thought I would maybe extend my Italy trip even more. So I thought I would be in Italy, but I'm glad I'm here. And this is really cute. I was talking to my friend Annie yesterday and she was like telling me to come visit Chicago. And I'm like, say less, like I literally will. So I think I might book a flight soon to go visit her in like August or something. And my other best friend Libby lives in Chicago and they like ran into each other at a concert last night and sent me a photo. So I was like, damn, I need to come visit. And I think Libby's gonna move out of Chicago soon. So I should definitely visit her before she moves. Update, she just texted me, FYI, gonna eat lunch here before. So where the fuck are we going looking like a rich mom? By the way, obsessed with this blush by Charlotte Tilbury. I was just editing a vlog where I just got my eyebrows done. And in the moment I was like, oh my God, this is way too much. Like I need this to fade. And now I like miss my really dark, exaggerated, laminated eyebrows. So I think I'm gonna get them done again soon. I'm bummed because I just spent all morning trying to edit and upload a vlog and my thumbnail isn't done and I don't wanna rush it because I've been like trying to change my thumbnail style and I wanna stay consistent with that. So I think I'm gonna finish my thumbnail tonight when I have time and then upload it in the morning. But I'm finally back on my YouTube game and I feel like the NARS trip like inspired me so forking much. Just watching all these other creators who are like way bigger than me grind and get their shit done. And like, I don't know, it was just motivating because I was like, I can do this, like I got this. And it's the first time I've like felt like that in a while because going on my own and like doing this like influencer shit on my own has been like really scary and I feel like I've like doubted myself more than ever which is just like not normal behavior for me at all it was like so good to finally feel like confident and motivated again it has literally been a year since my beloved quarter life crisis struck I am so ready for the year to be over, which it is tomorrow. And I feel like I have a way better head on my shoulders this year. I have like a clear vision of where I wanna go. I feel like last year I was like spiraling because I didn't have a clear vision and I knew I wanted to make some changes in my life, AKA trying to give this influencer thing a full-time shot. It's hard to move on, it's hard to change, it's hard to make a decision. It's easier to be like, I don't know, we'll see. Until now, the way I've been describing it is I felt hungover, like just because I. I feel like I worked my ass off for four years and I needed time to like regroup and then like reset and decide like, okay, what do I wanna do now with like my channel and my brand and whatever. Now I feel like the liquid IV has motherfucking hit and I feel rejuvenated and finally don't feel like ugh, hungover. Like I really feel like the trip attributes a lot to this feeling because it just like inspired me and fueled me and like, thoroughly gave me the break that I needed. Also, everything I'm saying right now, I know is like first world problems. Like I'm fine, I'm chilling, I'm grateful. I'm just also being real with y'all. All right, y'all, my bags are packed. Going to the pharmacy, then going to Alicia's. Buffalo Kali and my favorite kale salad. Kale, avocado, and white bean salad. Obsessed. Are you serious right now? Sorry, sorry, you're not gonna have anything physical. Oh no, <laughs> Wait, shut the fuck up. I'm so hyped right now. Thank you. 
Beverly Hills Hotel, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I said this, I said this as an option, but I thought we were gonna do Malibu. Like in my head, I was packing for Malibu. And I truly was like, she's gonna just obviously know exactly where we're going. No. What do you wanna do? I feel like you should go to the pool. I low-key agree. Okay. <laughs> but Alicia is the best sugar mama in the world. I told her, I was like, I think this might be my favorite birthday ever, but like, I don't want to like stress anyone out. No, but I was like, don't overthink it. <laughs> she was like, don't say that. Do you want to give us a room tour? No, do you? <laughs> okay. Welcome to my suite at the Beverly Hills Hotel, sponsored by Alicia Marie. I can't believe we're here. I've always wanted to stay here, so I'm so excited. Um, basically, I, I can't wait to look up all the history of the Beverly Hills Hotel. They have it all over. Shut like, up. yeah, it's really, we'll, get, we'll have to walk around once our logic gets here. So this is our bed where the magic happens. Wait, is this a crest? It's a crest! <laughs> Beverly Hills Hotel. I want a Taylor King crest on that. Okay, next <laughs> birthday. <laughs> and then this is our bathroom, you guys. It's low-key big as fuck. I'm high. <laughs> I'm so glad you brought the ring light. Wow, this is my dream come true, like actually. We just had the pink Cadillac drink, which Alicia was gassing up. It's very good. It is, right? Mm -hmm. What's this called? The Peach Passion, I think. Love it, obsessed. That's really it's good. Both great pool drinks. We are having the best time. This is my favorite birthday ever. Yay! And I just feel like it's gonna be a great year. Do you love it or do you hate it? What? Do you love it or do you hate it? it? Oh my god, I would hate that. <laughs> I don't think I could do seven, but maybe like <laughs> six, six. Six, six. <laughs> Is trying to get a professional photo for her wall for her house. Salmon, jalapeno, wild tuna, brown rice. I freaking love it. The Erwan sushi is truly unbelievable. And then I'm gonna get this carrot cake. This is my birthday. Fork it. It's from Sweet World Bakery. It's paleo, gluten free, and dairy free. And I love carrot cake. And it's my birthday, so I can. I literally love it here so much. Ooh, let's look at the poppies. I actually ended up getting this because it just sounded better than the sushi. I'm not that hungry. And then still got the cake because obviously. I made it back to the room. I am so tired. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> this is 26, baby. It does not get any better. I'm just letting you know. Alicia and I have been waking up really early this week because of the jet lag and I'm going to try and keep it up. We walked to Erewhon. It was amazing. We weren't that hungry because we kind of had like a really late mm -hmm. like lunch well, slash. Like, that was like 4.30. Yeah. Five. But today was my ideal day. Like I had the best time. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alicia, for the best birthday ever. You guys don't understand. I know Alicia does, but like this is peak <laughs> happiness. Like being in bed, getting my video up, editing. This is why we jive. Hell yeah. <laughs> because we enjoy doing this. And tomorrow we're going to wake up early and 
go for a walk. I might go for a little run, we'll see. And get coffee, we're gonna take photos, have the best time. We should walk like at least three miles. I'm down. And we're gonna get photos at the pool and we're gonna get a really good seat at the pool, which I'm excited to hey. work on my tan lines. Anyway, I'm gonna edit. Go watch that video. Slay, love you, good night. Good night. Alicia brought her film camera because she's trying to get good ass quality photos in 4k and raw baby oh yeah and raw sorry i said 4k <laughs> for her house to print it which is sick also good morning happy birthday to me OTD. Um, I just got all this from Revolve. She's our LPA and I think this is Lovers and Friends. You look so cute in like a rich mom. Uh, that's what that's I'm the thing. And then the bag's base. Anyway, we're about to go to the pool. We went to Creation. I got the immunity smoothie. We're gonna go to the pool. I'm so excited. We're having the best day. We had a great hot girl walk. Wearing the same bikini because I'm committed to the tan line game. Anyway, talk to you soon. Guys, look at this food we ordered. So effing good. Big tacos, chicken fingers and fries. Happy girls. birthday dinner. Woo! I'm not gonna dampen my beauty blender. I will judge you, but that's okay. TK, there's like mildew up in there. Ew. Just throw it to Ash and make her clean it. It smells it's, good. It's your birthday, I so won't. she'll do it. I it's won't. her birthday. It's not that gross. Is it that gross? I think so. For her to clean it? <laughs> she should clean it. <laughs> Out of all days is your birthday. She'll do it. She was like, no, I won't. And I was like, it's not that gross. Well, yeah, you should be using your hands. We're not like sharing a drink. See, to me, that's way nastier than sharing a drink. Really? Yeah. I don't think it's as gross. Cause then it's on your face. Here's the thing. I normally, it's just a hassle for me to get up right now. <laughs> Ash, can you please wash this? <laughs> in the middle of something. But, well, you, it's her birthday. How do you wash it? <laughs> With soap. <gasps> Is it just, you just like- Okay, like, we don't it? need to throw it to okay. everyone. <laughs> Thanks, PK. Yeah, put wow. it with soap and like, like ring it out. Yeah, you got there, doing the big girlies. Yeah. Yeah, Ash. Wow. Ash, neither was I. <laughs> Get ready with her. Why is this gross? Oh, the makeup's gonna come out. So? <laughs> yeah, so? Literally. Ashley, get your butt over here now. Get over, get over here! I have my Alex light in there. I feel like we don't need it, no? I would just get it anyway. <laughs> also, this is, this is your vlog, so do whatever you so want. So I'm gonna forward with getting it, actually. Did you hear me get it? What? Yeah. He goes, oh, it's coming out now. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be pink, I get it. Look at that, Tings, it's so good. I'm just laughing at him learning about Beauty Blender. No, I love how serious he's taking it. Have you used this yet? I have. I want to give it to Ash, I think she'll like, really like it. It's okay. It's because it's my birthday, he's being extra nice. Ooh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. When you guys film these, you can't listen to music because you'll be copyrighted. Yeah, it sucks. Good job! That's B. It is. But you can put headphones in and we can be like... Yeah, but then you can really call We could do a silent disco. Ooh, wow, wow. Finish it, Kel. <gasps> Whoa, thank you! <laughs> How much do you think this is? Oh, that's this NARS good. foundation. Probably around 60 bucks. Oh my god. Great guess. What's this? Mascara, it's not lipstick. <laughs> it's not mascara. <laughs> <laughs> That's just sunscreen. <laughs> I was gonna say that. I knew you were. Well, you didn't. Um. <laughs> what? Ashley, is... get out here! Yeah, Ash. She's, she's mad at you guys. 
Come play. <laughs> Come play. <laughs> Come play mermaids. Get over here. I can skip. I, yeah, I gotta shower, actually. Get out of there. Are you showering? Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, you nasty. You nasty. What's that from? That's a raven. Good job. That's a raven. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Oh, yes, Ashley. <laughs> you got it, girl. So what's this? Oh, that's, that's the powder. For Good what? Job. Uh, your cheeks. Well, kind of. What do you apply it with? Uh, what's this? The little sponge thing? No, this. Oh, it totally uses it. Don't you watch her get ready with me? I usually just skip to the end to see what she looks like. <laughs> After being told about it. Are you serious? Yeah. That's funny. He's like hot. Yeah. <laughs> you just I, see I usually just like to see what outfit she is. Ooh, on. the outfit. Interesting. Yeah. But if if it's like an outfit video, I'll like to wa watch the whole thing because I like to see her options. Oh. Do you like the thought process or just the options? I kind of just like looking at her. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alex girl, totally awesome. you hear that? You single ladies. <laughs> Alex. It's cool to see like the thought process though of like it is. what I'm what thinking. Yeah. Hell yes, Ashley. Looks so pretty. What are your favorite Taylor Swift songs, Ashley? Ooh. Top five. Ooh. Alicia, Ooh. you can go too. Phil, you can go too. One and game. The one. I'm he doing good, I'm awesome. No shit. <laughs> I'm doing Insane. good, I'm awesome. No shit. Uh-huh. I'm saying yes and no. no. I thought you saw you at the bus stop, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, PK! I know my teacher. Oh, uh, yes. You also like Back to December. Yeah. Who's it about? Oh, Taylor Um, It's not John Mayer, it's um, freaking Taylor Lautner. Yeah. yeah! I met him. Which one's about John Mayer? Dear John. Which one's about Jake Gyllenhaal? All too well. Good job. Wow, that was impressive. Ladies, he's single! <laughs> What's everyone doing right now for their makeup step? Little concealer. What advice do you guys have for me turning 26? You feel old right now, but in a realistic way, it's only gonna get worse. Like me at 26, I was like, I'm so old. Like you're not. And I could say that same about me right now. Like you feel old, but in, in next year you're gonna be like, damn, I was 26. Now Five I'm 27. Five years from now, you're gonna be like, damn. Yeah. That was a so good don't time. feel like you're old and just like keep living life. Like you're still in your 20s. I will say because please don't take offense, but because I have so many older friends. Uh huh. I do still feel young. Like, I, in my head, 26 is old, but, like, I have so many friends in their 30s Yeah. that it doesn't feel as old as I feel like I Good. used to. As of now, illicit affairs have been slain on that. repeat. I also love Invisible String. Miss Marijuana, obviously. <laughs> I love that. You made me fall in love with that it's song. Such a good song. The last time with Gary Lightbody. I could talk about it every day on Pretty Basic. Back to December. Honestly, even um, Enchanted is like one of my favorites. I love Enchanted. Am I over five? Yes. Blank Space, obviously. I love the story of us. Uh, I love. Look what you made me do. I think PK is listening to TK or to Taylor Swift in the shower. He is listening. Taylor so Taylor. it goes is one of my favorite well, on reputation. Cruel Summer is one of my faves. I also love Clean. I don't love Clean. The drought was the very I mean, I'll sing worst. it. Ah, ah. Ah. Wait, really? Yeah, it's not my favorite. I love that it because and... the lyrics I related to at the time. Because you can understand the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> He's listening to it. Don't you never know. Oh, Exile Slay. There's too many. Like, I can't make a top five. She loves all of folklore. Oh, gr uh, Great American Reputation. Dynasty. Yeah. Did you see the, like, articles that came out that she's making, like, $4.6 yes. million dollars for the economy or something? We should go to her, like, London show or something. So, Remy's birthday is February 7th. And on February 7th of next year, Taylor Swift will be performing in Japan. And she said that's all she wants to do. <laughs> so I was like, slay. I know. Insane. Imagine. Ashley, do you have any advice for me? Don't date guys who are twos. I mean. <laughs> Sorry. Too soon. What? I don't think he was a two. A three. Okay, but that I feel like that makes me look bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> you thought he was a three? No. Okay, do you want me to actually rate him? Yeah. Obviously, we're all tens in God's eyes. But... I don't think he's a three. <laughs> no, I was just trying to make you feel better. Oh. I was like, damn, I'm a dumbass. Okay, are we talking looks or are we talking like... <laughs> like his overall. Okay. Did you think he was a two in looks? Well, I'm going to give the average. I mean, like, in my head currently, he's, like, literally a negative two. Like, I don't give a fuck about him, but I don't think... About yeah, but we're gonna need to cut that. So I I'm think like, without... you have a bad taste 
in your mouth because of what you know, so... But that's what we're, we're rating, like, him. He, I think physically he's hot. Okay. Yeah. Alicia disagrees. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. That's surprising, because I feel like that's... That is surprising to me. He's way more your type to me than my type. Tall, dark, and handsome. The face? <laughs> His face? I disagree. I think he had a nice face. I knew you were in trouble when you walked in. Hey. Shame on me. Wildest Dreams is one of my yeah. all-time favorites. Me too. What questions do you have for us about makeup, Phil? What's your Mount Rushmore of uh, products? Ooh, great question. Concealer, lip, gloss, uh-huh. blush, and brow gel. What does concealer do? It just like, like brightens. It's this, so it like. Oh. Oh, poor, poor Nana. Nana. <laughs> do you know what that's from? Uh, it's the dog, right? Yeah. <laughs> Peter Pan. The concealer, like, will brighten your under eye or, like, cover up, like, acne scars. I'm gonna go foundation, bronzer, mm. brows, mascara, and then lip liner. That was five. You said five. Four. 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 Mount 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 oh. <laughs> Honestly, even if you asked me right now how many people, I wouldn't know. Do you have hairspray? No. no. Poor, Poor Nana. Nana. Poor Nana. <laughs> Poor na na na. Say it as? Not poor Paula. <laughs> Wait, what? The rest of it. Oh. It's from Peter. Oh, I'm on the cold hard ground. Ah. Wow, I just got a freaking ad from Giorgiami or whatever it is. <laughs> Giorgiami? Giorgi Armani. Giorgio? Does anyone have any summer goals? I want to unplug a lot. Oh. I uh, I put a time limit on my social media. Yeah, so it shuts I've been off. doing this la- this last like month. I've been trying. I like you've to... been doing a good job with that. Yeah, like I I've, I've been um like trying to wake up without my phone, and then I, my calm app has the daily J, which is like a eight minute med- meditation, mm. and it's so doable. I should try that. Like I'll just it's usually something to that you can apply throughout your day, a short bit of wisdom, and then a small like deep breath moment mm. and that's it and it's so easy wait let's all do it it's let's do it right so now <laughs> and it's short and that's what i love about it interesting that's a great summer goal taylor saxby was telling me about this that ideally it's best for you to get outside and have the sun like hit you before you have caffeine because it wakes you up more did you know that if you show your asshole to the sun it gives you like extra energy have you Shut done up. it i'm being dead ass Shut i'm being up. dead ass <laughs> i've heard of no it chance. no i've heard of no. it i don't know if it's actually uh, true my friend margaret did it on her italian trip catch me bent over on my patio <laughs> no, I've, <laughs> I've seen people talk about it but i'm like i don't know if it's true but think about it it never gets sunlight my goal is to go to the beach more and go swim in the ocean more and like swim at my pool, be outside. Touch water? Yeah. <laughs> touch grass. I love touching grass too. What are you looking for at this moment in time? In what? My life? Yeah. Well, in a girl. In a girl, wow. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> a lot, I mean. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Set that bar high. Yeah. A lot. She has to get the I approval wanna, of all of us. I want a fun girl right now for the summer. So you just want to flame. Goes out, do stuff, stuff, go to the beach, go on hikes. I just hate when sometimes Where eggs taste a little too eggy. What? What? You know what I mean? Yeah. No. I like the Wait, Thanks. does this happen to you? Like what? when sometimes eggs just taste a little too eggy? Yeah. What kind of eggs are you getting? Like sometimes it's just like eggs do not sound good. Sometimes they sound so good and then sometimes it's like <laughs> it just sounds a little too eggy. No. You haven't heard of this? It's like no. a thing on TikTok. Do you have eggs every day? Honestly, lately, yeah, pretty much. I have them probably like five days. I was going to say probably four or five favorites. Phil loves blueberries. What's your guys' favorite fruit? Peaches. Ooh, that's a good one. I think mine's pineapple. I also bought my first ever watermelon and fed it up on my own. Whoa! (laughs) Good job! I saved it and put it in the fridge. It was was gas. It's hard to like cut a watermelon. Yeah. We are all glammed up and ready for dinner. We're going to the polo lounge. It's my first time going. I'm very excited. Apparently you're not allowed to wear open-toed clothes, so we're all in heels. So cute. Dress is good American. Love it. Shoes are prod. So cute. Dress is prod. Perfect. So cute. Matchy matchy, I love it. We tried. Urban Outfitters, Tularosa, and then I just got these shoes, they're from Alohas. Silken. Shirt from Zara, <laughs> beater from, I don't know, 
Uh, pants, polo, Saint Laurent. Hey, yeah. Dress, like Reformation. Mine. Shoes, Louboutins. YSL. Mm. And earrings, Versace. <laughs> Best birthday ever. Thank you so much, Alicia Marie. You're so welcome, Slay. <laughs> we had a little photo shoot when we got back. The Polo Lounge, if you ever come to Beverly Hills and want a fun, nice, fancy dinner. It's fancy and expensive, but not like insane like some LA restaurants. Definitely recommend it. Loved it. They went around and said 26 things they <laughs> liked the most about me. Yeah. I was in heaven. I got salmon. What'd you get? I got the filet mignon and honestly it was the potato thing on it was amazing. That's so nice. We just get to come up here and go to bed. I know. Amazing. I love this hotel. I'm so freaking tired. I'm gonna post an Instagram and then I think I'm gonna go to bed and edit a TikTok. I love you guys so much. Best birthday ever. 26. Bye. I'm ready for you. Happy birthday. I love that you were born today. Happy birthday.